Brooks Tan is a sports-loving nine-year-old. I like to play wiffle ball with my friends, and I like to shoot baskets in my driveway. Yeah, he was born with a ball in his hand. He really was. Just, it just comes naturally to him. What sports do you play? What different sports? I play basketball, baseball, and football. Wow. And then you played soccer for a little bit too, didn't you? Swimming, Everything. swim team, yeah, you name it. Golf. Golf. He's a golf. And he works hard at it. He, you know, he's the kid who will shoot baskets in the driveway till you call him in. You know, you don't have to make him do it. I like being active all day. Do you like winning? He even made a surprising first impression on his football coach. Brooks is on my football team. Came up to me first day of practice and just said, hey, I'm one of the quarterbacks. And I said, oh, is that, is that right? I said, hey, Brooks, one of my things is positions choose players. And uh, you'll have to earn that. Basically took over mid-season by himself and uh, led us to a bowl victory our first year. MVP that day. And like any other aspiring young athlete, he has dreams for the future. I want to be a baseball player for the Cubs. What position? Um, maybe a shortstop or a pitcher. Who are your favorite players? On um, the Cubs, mm -hmm. or I like Chris Bryant and Anthony Rizzo. But Brooks and his family received some devastating news in December of 2016. Brooks was diagnosed with cancer. December 27th, two days after Christmas. It's just mind blowing. Yeah. One day your world changes. What are you doing right now for your treatments? Um. What's our medicine? <laughs> What's the medicine we get? Chemotherapy. Yeah. And then um, next week we start radiation, so he'll be getting radiation and chemotherapy at the same time. The radiation is for six weeks, but the chemotherapy is 40 weeks. God, you're around someone so much for two, three years. Of course it, it hits, uh, you know, in the heart, and like someone's sucker punching you, and, and the first thing you can think of is, what can I do? What can I do to help? The Hinsdale community rallied around the Tons and showed their love and support. We're just blessed. Blessed with good people surrounding us. The whole team's always over here. My house is the hangout house. <laughs> when Brooks' teammates wanted to shave their heads in support, Shannon Antipov invited the team over for a special day. I know that there's going to be all these boys here in the backyard shaving their heads to show that they love and they support Brooks. Shannon's son Misha is one of Brooks' close friends and teammates. Let's bring Misha in. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on, sit down, buddy. Boy. So, you are going to be one of the brave ones and shave your head today, is that right? Yeah. So tell me about football. What does he play and what do you play? Tell me your positions. Um. I'm running back, and he's quarterback. Tell me a little bit about Brooks. Well, he's pretty strong because he's like, because he's like quarterback, and plus he's in cancer right now, and he has, and he's like struggling in a lot of things right now. So, did you talk to some of the other kids at school, or are they excited about it? Yeah, mostly everyone I talk to is gonna shave their head. But before the head shaving got underway, there were a few surprises in store for Brooks. All right, who knows who this guy is? Pat Fitzgerald. Who is he? Very good, you knew that, because guess what? He has a special message just for you, Brooks, and the football team and the parents. 
Hinsdale Falcons, how's it going guys? I'm Pat Fitzgerald, the head football coach at Northwestern. Before we start talking a little bit more about football though, I wanna mention a few things. Number one, we're wrapping up the school year right now. So let's finish up strong. Let's make sure we're doing a great job listening to our teachers and our parents. And we're doing all the little things to finish the school year the right way. We've got a great uh, friend of mine there in Lisa, and I wanna uh, say thank you to her. And also I wanna talk specifically to Brooks. I know you're battling through some tough stuff right now. I believe you and your family are there. And I just wanna let you know, my friend, that uh, we're so inspired by you and your toughness, your grit, and your ability to persevere and fight through tough times. And I just wanna let you know that tough times don't last, tough guys do. And so keep doing what you're doing. We're all thinking and praying for you up here in Evanston and the Northwestern Wildcats are behind you and your family 100%. And so back to the Falcons. With a tough teammate like Brooks by your side, you guys cannot be stopped if you use the determination and the perseverance that he has. So when times get tough, give a little, little dab or a little hug to your teammate there to make sure that we understand really what we're doing. It's about brotherhood, it's about love, and it's about giving everything you've got for your teammate to your right and to your left. So good luck, and Brooks, from all of us up here in Evanston, keep fighting, my friend. We're all behind you 100%. Go Cats and God bless. That's pretty cool. But you know what else is really cool? I have another surprise for you. Who likes the Cubs? Me. Me. Oh, oh. Brooks, I heard that two of your favorite players are Chris Bryant and Anthony Rizzo. Guess what? You get to meet these guys in person. You and your entire family. They have all kinds of really cool stuff for you and I'm gonna give you that. But you get to meet your two favorite players. How about that? So when you're sitting there and you get to meet Anthony Rizzo and Chris Bryant, what are you gonna to say to them? I don't think I would say anything. I would probably faint. <laughs> Brooks didn't faint when he got to meet his two favorite players, Anthony Rizzo and Chris Bryant. But let's get back to Shannon's house. How many people here are gonna shave their heads? Oh my gosh. After the message from Coach Fitz and the surprise that he would get to meet his baseball heroes, Brooks led his teammates out to the backyard barbershop. Chicago Blackhawks, he is a Stanley Cup champ. Where's your ring? Somebody stole it. Oh my God. <laughs> so we got Brent shaving, we've got Coach, Je Coach Lefty. Yeah, we know the whole story and what Brooks is going through in that family and through hard times is really when you find out what kind of community you have and obviously you saw today with the support of uh, everybody here, it's pretty amazing. Sacrifice for, for a friend and a teammate at a young age. There you go, bud. Looking good. Oh, I All can't right. shake it. Yeah. That's going to live along with them forever. And as they get older, and they're going to look back at that, and it really shaped them today. So you just got your head shaved. What do you think? Uh, well, Team Brooks, the spirit Brooks, he's really strong fighting through all this. That's why I just did this. And this, it kind of feels weird right now. Let me see. Take your head off. That looks really cool. When we had to shave his head for the real time, and that was such an emotional time for me. And so today, we did it, and it was a happy time. We've gone from tears of sadness to tears of joy. Put a smile on his face and to show mother to mother support and that mothers stick together.
well, the day I learned, I didn't. I wasn't even worried about it. And then right now, I'm just thinking that it's gonna be over. Brooks is flying around here, you know, 100 miles an hour, like there's nothing going on. And you take a look at this little kid and what he's going through and uh, the energy that he has, and we all can learn a lesson from him. I'm pretty proud of the kid. Look at him. I mean, he's, he, the kid's a fighter. I told you, he's a gym rat. He's not going anywhere. The kid's not going anywhere. He's going to a park. Brooks continues to get love and support from his family, teammates, and a special new friend who is taking the time to show he cares.